let's take a look at area of right triangles. What is the area of this figure? Okay, now normally when we have a right triangle, they would mark or indicate which one is the 90 degree angle. Now in this case, they didn't do that, but we can figure out that it must be this one because they're calling it right triangles and these two angles are clearly much smaller than 90 degrees. Okay, now our area formula for a triangle is area is equal to one half the base times the height. Okay, and the reason this formula works is I want you to visualize, okay, if I dropped a line straight down from here and straight across, you can see that if I did that, we would wind up with a rectangle that includes two triangles that have the same area as that gray one, right? The gray triangle and then one right underneath it. So the gray triangle is exactly half the area of the rectangle with the same length and width. Okay, so that's why we have that one half in our formula. Okay, now the important thing to keep in mind is whenever you're using this formula, one half base times height, when we use the word base and the word height instead of length and width, base is always perpendicular to the height. Okay, so if we want to be really fancy with our geometry symbols, we can write it like this. This symbol means is perpendicular to. Okay, and perpendicular just means that it's at a 90 degree angle. So that means the base and the height are always the two sides of the triangle that meet at a 90 degree angle. Now it doesn't really matter which one you call the base and which one's the height, together they meet at a 90 degree angle. Okay, so now we can say area is equal to one half. Since I labeled the top side B, let's use our number four in place of the base. And since I labeled this side H, let's use five in place of the height. Okay, and remember I can multiply in any order. So let's do one half at the end. Four times five is 20. Okay, so I wanna know what's half of 20 or 20 divided by two, and that's gonna give me 10. Okay, now when you have an area, we multiplied millimeters by millimeters, so notice our answer is going to be in millimeters squared. So the area of our triangle here, 10 millimeters squared. What is the area of this figure? Okay, well again, these two sides would have to represent the base and the height. They make up our 90 degree angle. So if we set up our formula, area equals one half base times height, this one is gonna work out exactly the same as the last problem we saw, right? Because one half, five times four, well, five times four is 20. And again, one half of 20, we just did that one, gave us 10. The only thing different is this time, our units are in inches, so it's gonna be 10 inches squared. What is the area of this figure? Okay, well, we can call these two sides base and height since they appear to make up our 90 degree angle of this right triangle. And then we can use our formula, area is equal to one half the base times the height. Okay, so area is equal to one half. In place of the B, let's put four. And our height was three. So my area is one half, four times three, or one half of 12. Well, half of 12, or 12 divided by two, is gonna give me six. So the area would be six feet squared. What is the area of this figure? Okay, well, these two sides look like the base and the height. They appear to make up our 90 degree angle. So when we use our area formula, area is equal to one half the base times the height. Okay, well in place of B, let's use our side that was one centimeter. 
And in place of height, let's use our side that was two centimeters. And just like always, you can multiply in any order. So this is gonna be one half, one times two, or one half of two. And half of two is one. So our area would be one centimeter squared. What is the area of this figure? Okay, well the two sides that would represent the base and the height are the two that make up our 90 degree angle. And then we can say our area is equal to one half the base times the height. Okay, so if we're plugging our numbers in, one half, the base was four, and the height was three. Okay, so that's going to be one half of four times three, or one half of 12. And of course, one half of 12 is just six. So our area is six miles squared. 